So where did you take your training? For your at uh, actually right across the road at Valley Driving School. At I Chilliwack. went to Valley Driving School. Yeah. You went to the Chilliwack campus? I did. I went to the Abbotsford campus. Okay. I studied under Al. Yeah, I, I don't even remember who trained me. A long time ago? Yeah, three years ago. Three years three ago. Three and a bit, give or take. So. Was the ta training tough for you to understand and put into practice? Well, they... Not really. The load securement. Back in the day, I could not throw belts. I could not chain up. I couldn't do anything. I didn't have upper body strength. So, I mean, they passed me just out of pity <laughs> for that part. But, I mean, now, I mean, I've, I've, you know, doing heavy haul and then now doing, you know, machinery hauling. I've built it up and I can actually do the job. Not as fast as some of the guys, but I can hold my own on a job site pretty well. So, so that journey between... They, they felt sorry for you, so they passed you until now that you're really proficient at it. How long did that take? And what, what was the breakthrough point? Uh, was it the well, physical endurance? Was it, was it the strength that you got? It was, was more it the, 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 the strength, and then you kind of get your own technique on like how it works. Like For belts, I throw like a girl. I look retarded doing it, but I can get it over. It works. So, I don't know. I mean, it, it's just, I don't know. I don't know exactly when it was, but... Well, for the first, you know, year and a bit, I was doing long haul, so it was dry van. You know, I didn't have to do anything other than, like, drop my trailer and throw a strap in my trailer, and that was it. But then once I started um, doing heavy haul, I mean, I, for the first little bit, was pretty useless. I'm surprised they kept me around, but, uh, <laughs> you know, just every couple weeks or whatever, you know, I could haul more things I could you know throw something further and whatever and so you better. one day it was like holy crap like I remember when I first started to where I am now like I'm impressed that I've been able to accomplish this so I, I like to challenge myself and you know kind of set a new goal and be able to, like now I have to deal with half inch chain and that sucks yeah. that's still a little bit heavy for me but I mean because I was used to like three eighths or whatever yeah. so you know now there's a new goal so, yeah so deal with half do you ever think that in the future you would mentor women drivers that are just coming on board would that be something that you would do or i like, totally could would you i mean every trucker has a lot of stories and every trucker tends to love to tell the story over and over and over so i mean if it helps other women out if it helps other women out you know getting into the industry that we're in mm -hmm. why not i yeah. mean Learn by example, not by experience. See, if it. that happens, you know, yeah. if you can. Because uh, women don't have a lot of support when mm -hmm. it comes to right? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I mean, I was fortunate, like, when I first started out, I had um, my license for about a week and a half, and I got hired by this long haul company. Didn't know what I was getting into, but I was like, oh, yeah, I always want a long haul. And so he says, be ready for next week. You're going on your first trip. I didn't know how to do log books. I didn't even know how to back up because they wow. didn't teach me how to back up in driving school. Yes, that's right. You back in a straight line for like 20 feet that's and there exactly you go. Right. So he sends me down to Louisiana, over to Alabama, up to Calgary. Your first that, trip? Yes. A week and a half after yes. you got your license? Yes. That was like oh. the epitome of being thrown to the wolves. <laughs> so I was really fortunate that I found a lot of guys that, you know, you got the occasional creepy weirdo out there, but a lot of guys have children or grandchildren my age. A lot of them have daughters. and kind of took me under their wing and showed me the ropes, you know, gave me helpful advice and tips and whatnot, and that really helped me. So basically, you know, you, you find the right person, if you have a good judge of character, you basically chat with them and see what they're about. And so, you were having fun out there. I love it. I still what do. What do you really love, the most thing that you love about driving? Uh, just, just freedom, basically. I mean going down the highway i'll crank my tunes and i'll sing along and then i'll forget people can see me in my truck and the, i look down there <laughs> laughing at me doing actions and singing along but it's just i don't know just going around and driving everywhere and then you know it's a sense of satisfaction i get every day like the load didn't fall off i didn't kill anyone it's a good day hey, so. that's that's a uh, question i wanted to ask you do you ever get nervous doing heavy hauling yeah i mean i've had some very big big dimensions like my first time I used to pull steering dolly and run in the back doing steering dolly and so I was pulling a set of um, 110 foot telephone poles up to Fort McMurray I had never been to Fort Mac before it was the middle of winter I had a single axle Jeep and I drive a cab over I used to drive a cab over and I had somebody in the back driving the back end of the load and that was my very first time doing that and 
having to chain up and go up, um, uh, what was that, East Pine and Pine Pass and all that. Oh, I've been there. Yeah, oh, God, that was, that was nerve-wracking. I mean, you can't break through corners because your Jeep will kick out and it can put you in a ditch. And you've got somebody in the back that's responsible for the back end. You know, you work as a team. So they could screw you up or you could screw them up. you got to work as a pair. you got to learn really fast in those situations.